Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL quarterfinals preview. So we're down to the final eight. We've got Blessed Be the Bretts, which are obviously Bretonians, coached by Tacky on Speed, up against Give Me Equity, which is Augmented Beard's necromantic team. And then we've got Mad Jake's Wood Elves, who got a buy in the previous match, uh, previous week, which is why they weren't co covered in the round of 16 matches. Up against Man Kisser's Dark Elves, Can You Shoot a Chain Guys? Then we've got Nine Inch Heels, which is Alma Forever's Dark Elves. Up against Antonaft's Orcs, which are Garda Orcs. There you go. And the final quarterfinal is Where Is My Brains, a very apt descriptor of Vava's Chaos Team. Up against World on Fire, which is Dior's Dwarves. So there you go, the first match is... Hello? Hello? It's uh, Jack Bull. Hello, Jack Bull. Got to keep the seat warm until the gentleman got here. Glorious. Hello, thank you very much. Well, um, here we go. This is the first. The first team is Tachyon Speed, and haven't they done amazing? They beat the beat uh, Kadenix Wonder Wonder Wood Elves. Then they beat a very rowdy human team, and then they beat a pretty good Pro Elf team. So, you know, I don't know how they've done it because they're not the best Brett team I've ever seen. But they're all Fouling. right. A little bit, yeah. yeah. He's played well. I think he's, he's like three, just... three dirty players, you know. Yeah, I think he's just played well as well. Honestly, I think he's. Oh, played... yeah, I guarantee you, he's played well. And when you've got that much fen, then then you're. Fou... I'm guarantee you, he's fouling every turn, right? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't seem like he made a million cards. He just like he just seemed to do it by like you know some pulling out some dice out of his ass and making some plays. So yeah, fair because play. Because that man. never happens in Blood Bowl, right? It it, it obviously happened enough. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right. Other things across the pond, my friend. Uh, not bad, thanks. Not bad. Oh, give me equity. I mean, it's, uh, what what I want is I want augmented beard versus Dio in the final. So we've got we've got an oh, equity yeah, no, for that would be a brilliant. <laughs> augmented beard is one of my one of my stealthy favorite coaches. We'll say. Mm -hmm. He's got a hell of a team, hasn't he? I mean, based on teams, I would be picking this over the Burts all day. Um, well, Burt's will never win Chalice, right? So <laughs> They've already won it twice, but never again. No, 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 those didn't count, Jim. Those did not count. That's like, you know. <laughs> no, if, if there's only three other teams playing, you can't claim the championship. <laughs> well, you know, Americans still call the Super Bowl champions of the world. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no football playing being played anywhere else, Jim. Well, hey. <laughs> well, hey, well, there you go. In that case, Br Brett's were champion of Blood Bowl, weren't they? Even though, even though they're only eight teams. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's got a tackle pommel, which is what you need. He's got a strength up fleshy, pretty nice. Uh, min max, it's pretty min max, isn't it? The, oh, wait, world strength on the on the Mighty Blow Wolf. Amazing. So, we got the best thing you could possibly get on the Wolf. Um, nah, you can argue agility's yeah, better, then. actually couple of dirty players as well mm, this is gonna be a very interesting game this is gonna be a rowdy match <laughs> yeah super rowdy and then uh and then we've got a, an elf mirror there's been a lot of elf teams this this tournament and uh well, i think there were also a lot of people who thought this would be the last ccl right mm, true so, you know people who haven't won it yet or are, are, are you're seeing much many more of the traditional teams I don't want to say it, it's hard to say that because I don't want to take away from the play of these coaches. All these coaches are amazing, right? You give you give these guys Amazon teams, they're going to play very, very well. <laughs> yep. So, but I, I just think that people are like, okay, it's it's time, you know, it's possibly the last one. Let's go balls out. Let's grab some elves. Let's grab, you know. Hmm. I am saddened to say that Skaven aren't in the finals, though, so or won't be. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing too exciting, right? Only one guard and only one stat up. Um, but, you know, they're Wood Elves, and Wood Elves are always a force, and he's got an incredible record with his team. Um, and obviously avoided damage in the previous match due to his, just to his opponent just uh, couldn't schedule, like, just unavailable to play the game. That's why he got the... Uh, he didn't get a concede win, but he got, a, he got like, a bye. Um versus Mankiz, who has come through with 12 players. And I think his team's pretty nice versus Elves, right? He's got these uh, lots of blood step, tackle, tackle, diving, tackle. Like, obviously, this guy's going to take tackle, I'm, I'm sure, for this game. And then he's it's, also It's always just hard to assess a Dark Elf team, right? Because they always seem like they just don't have enough skills, but they're always so strong. Mm. 
yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, pretty much all they need is blood, step, and armor, right? Isn't it? You know, and then and then they get in the way and gum it up, and and you're always going to struggle to score against them, and you're going to struggle to stall out against them, and they're, and on offense they're elves. <laughs> so, so yeah, they're they're a funny old team, dark elves. They never really they never really look that amazing, but they're always pretty good. <laughs> And now... So which one are you going to first, Jim? Which one am I going to first? Yeah, which game are you going to uh, cast first here? Uh, well, we're, we're Vava versus Dio is happening right now, so we'll be doing that soon. Um, oh, the Edge 6 died, didn't it? Alma Forever had the Edge 6 Witch Elf who died. Um, so his team got a you hell of a lot worse. let me penetrate you. Yep. Fuck you! Like wow, this is some this is some very interesting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> they're all. It's unfortunate out. we couldn't get some interviews with these players. Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting. You got a lot more guard, three guard, some blood step, a couple of move ups, a mighty blow, a lot more like good rolls on this team. Um, so that should be interesting there. And uh, but he's got probably a harder matchup, I would say. Than an elf mirror because orcs are pretty rowdy. Though this isn't the highest TV orc team, but then it means you'll be getting inducements around the given way. Two, only two tacklers isn't the best, but you know, a bunch of guards, a bunch of mighty blow. It'll be a test, but I, mm, I think I fancy the elves to come through there as well. So we could have. I fancy, I fancy the necro to win the first one, the delves to win the second, the delves to win the third, and then uh, oh, funnily enough, so this is the match that we'll be doing live very soon. We've got. Oh, you're doing a match live, Jim. I thought you. Uh, I thought you had, had boycotted live matches. Well, they've started, but so we'll be catching up. We'll be catching okay. up a little bit. So. Oh, look out! The man, the myth, the legend has joined. Uh, has joined you, Jim. Whoa. Hello, PC. Hello, hello. Gentlemen, I will duck out. PC, I was keeping your seat warm for you, my friend. Oh, Jack, have a great I'm sure you're welcome to stay. I'm not speaking for Jim, but I'm sure you are. Of oh no no no! I just I I I'm actually going to listen to the two of you gentlemen and uh, do this while I get back to work. I just didn't want Jim to be alone for a few minutes. Oh, I know nice. you're going to want to not put me that, quite that low around those two gentlemen in the booth there, Jim. That's that's not that's not happening. <laughs> How about that? That's a good. None one. of us want to leave Jim alone. That's a it good. One. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, have a great cast. I'm going to be watching. Cheers. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is the match we're about to cast right now, PC. So yeah, well, wow. it's a chaos team, no piling on, but two claw mighties, and uh, you know, five guards, loads of tackle for the elves. But um... yeah, even I might have taken piling on instead of tackle as the fourth skill on that uh, that beastman. Mm. I quite like warriors on their feet because of their armor, because of their strength. I think they can dominate space. I like that he's taken block and guard first on them. Really solid base to build the team in front of. But then you do have space for, you know, a specialist killer. Mm. So I wonder if he's going to miss that. Yeah, well, he hasn't yet, and he's got an nope. incredible record with this team. But he is, he is, uh, he is up for a big test because he's going to have to, he's going to have to high roll with these claw mighties because he's up against Dionysian, the legend, mm. with dwarves, dwarf, 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 dwarf. You know a and tiny little bit about dwarves. Am I, am I correct in that assessment, PC? I, I know have you're primarily an elf one coach. twice. Yeah, primarily elves <laughs> is my focus and my my love. But um, you know, just to to know the opposition, I have occasionally dipped into some dwarfing. <laughs> Um, I mean, I like these. I like these a lot. He's gone with the, the stand firm after guard, which is an absolutely viable but really annoying to face build. Mm. Um, it gets it done almost exactly the same way, and then you add the mighty blow on afterwards if you get there. Yeah, and he's got there with three of them, and he's obviously got a great one-turn potential. Not going to be a factor against these ch uh, chaos team, but, you know, maybe in the, in the semis or final mm. could be great. Yeah, incredibly hard to move this team around. It, it stays where it wants to be, and then it's all just about your positioning. Uh, he's got that lovely runner to spring out from behind uh, in the what used to be the Bo Galante style, or perhaps Dolphar or Griff in this rule set where you don't have bow available. Uh, and it's now very standard. Lots and lots of um, you know walls of people standing with a single star holding the ball behind. So mm -hmm. I think that's what we're going to see here. Whether it's the uh, the strong runner or the agile runner, he's mm -hmm. got a lovely choice, hasn't he? Yes, well, Blitzer actually, a, a Blitzer with move, but yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Too, yeah. I mean, I think you carry on the runner and you use the Blitzer as a, an AG4 handoff option, don't you? Which yes. Which gives you 
you know, multiple attack facets as you head forwards. It's lovely to have that. And his second one is just a cheeky little dirty player. Dio loves that dirty player. He does, he, he so. does. I'm amazed it hasn't got Hail Mary pass as well as dirty player. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, lineup for quarterfinals and uh, mm. they'll all be going up on YouTube. So uh, thank you. Thank you, PC and Jack Bull. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.